Good evening and welcome. I'm so grateful that each of you had made time tonight for this important FBC chat. For all of you who are watching, it is my honor to introduce to you the Pastoral Search Committee for First Baptist Church. This is an opportunity for you to get to know each of them and to hear their excitement for the future of our church. We are so close to the official start of our pastoral search, and there is no better time for us to help you get to know this faithful group of leaders. And so I'm really excited for you to be joining us watching and for all of you who have, who have taken on this task of our search for our next pastor. Um, at the conclusion of our evening, Jim Everett and Jane Davis and Randy Ashcraft are going to come in and they are going to do a commissioning of this team and a prayer of blessing over them because we do pray for you and we want to covet you in our prayers daily. So let's get started. All right, Patrick, I'm going to ask you to go first. Yeah, my name is Patrick Griffin and I've been around First Baptist Church for quite some time. I actually grew up in the church and was involved throughout high school and stayed involved in college. And after college, I moved back to Wilmington and, and plugged back in to uh, the community at First Baptist. I'm excited about the future of First Baptist Church because as I've seen the church grow and change over the years, the mission has remained the same. And so as growth and change continues to occur, uh, that mission will continue. Hi, I'm Linda Collins and my husband is Richard. And we have two daughters and four grandchildren. I'm a member of the Fellowship Sunday School class, and we've been members of First Baptist Church for 29 plus years. And um, it's hard to believe that that many years have passed. I'm excited about the future of First Baptist Church because of the love the congregation has for each other and the commitment for the missions and ministries of First Baptist Church. And secondly, I'm excited for the future of First Baptist Church because of the dedicated and talented staff we have. Hi, I'm Tom Alexander. <clears throat> My wife, Fran, and I are native North Carolinians. We left after college and uh, worked out in the central part of the country, but always knew we'd come back. So we did after retirement and have been here a little over three years and have been members of First Baptist for two and a half years. Fran sings in the choir and uh, we're both members of the Forum Sunday School class and I team teach in there and really am blessed to be able to do that. I'm excited for First Baptist after probably one of the strangest years in history, we're gonna be back together soon. And I know everybody is looking forward to that, to, to be around one another again. And I'm excited for this team working together to take what the church has said that its needs are now and in the future to find God's choice for our new senior pastor to come alongside and to, to work with the staff and with, with the church as a whole. And we all need and covet your prayers. Hello. My name is Katie Evans and I'm married to Sean Evans and we have two boys, Paul and Aaron. I joined FBC as a teenager in 1995 when my family moved to Wilmington. Fast forward after pharmacy school, marriage, working and starting a family, we moved back to Wilmington and joined again in 2017. I'm a deacon and a member of the Vineyard Sunday School class. I'm excited for the future of our church to see the ministry opportunities grow and touch more lives and also seeing my boys grow in godly wisdom and stature. Hello, I'm Randy Ivey. Uh, Julie and I have been members at First Baptist for 15 years. We attend the Grace Sunday School class for also share teaching duties. And we have three grown children, adult children. I'm excited about the future of our church because in spite of these difficult times, We've all seen how our collective church body has responded and continued to serve and love one another and the broader community. These are exciting times as we continue to seek God's will and as he reveals to us the next chapter in the life of our church. Hey there, I'm Jana Lennon, married to Bruce, and we have two daughters, Morgan and Catherine. Um, we're in that stage with a high school child and a college child and uh, we're members of the Covenant and Cheer Sunday School class. 
Um, I'm an assistant principal by trade and am so excited to be a part of this team. Um, I love First Baptist. Um, I love the people and I love the staff. And so I'm just so excited about the future because we have such a wonderful relationship as a group and with our community and just looking forward to what the future holds. Hello, my name is Bob Thornton. My wife, Laurel, and I, I have two adult children, Sarah and Ellis. Well, we joined the church in 2017 and are connected to a very fine group of Christian friends in the Hinchville Sunday School class. I'm very excited about the future of First Baptist Church because of God's goodness to us, to us in the past, but more so about how God has plans to use us to glorify him in the future, maybe even in ways that we don't yet know. Hi, my name is Heather Sutton. Um, I have been a member at First Baptist for 20 years. Um, Philip Sutton is my husband, so he brought me here to Wilmington and we have two children. Um, our oldest is in ninth grade, Carter, and our youngest is in sixth grade, and his name is Raleigh. Um, I am also a member of the Cheers Covenant class um, for Sunday school, and I teach preschool at First Baptist, so um, I have deep connections there as well. Um, I'm excited about the future of First Baptist because I really trust God's timing and his plan. Um, we have such a, a rich history of deep love for each other and for our commitment to serve in our community. And I think God knows exactly who's just the right person to lead us and to help us join us um, in that next chapter. So I'm really looking forward to being a part of this group and just um, can't wait to see what God has in plan for us. Hey, I'm Stephen Jeffcoat. I've been a member of First Baptist since 2006, and I'm a member of the Route 365 Sunday School class and also lead uh, the 11th grade boys small group with the youth group. And I'm also a chemistry teacher up at Topsail High School in Pender County. And I'm really excited about the future of First Baptist Church because Wilmington, we're in a growing and developing area. And I think our church has a lot of opportunities to be a source of hope and comfort and light in this ever-changing world. Um, the world needs some good news right now, and I think our church has the great and talented people that are ready to share that with everyone else. Yeah. Well, I want to say thank you to each of you and to your families, because this is uh, you individually, but also your families who have um, graciously going to come beside you as you make this commitment. And just know that I will be praying for you personally. Our staff has already started praying for you and that as a church, we are going to be praying for you. So I just want to say thank you. Um, all right. Well, welcome, Jim, Jane, and Randy. It is so good to have you join our group tonight. Um, as we said earlier, we're going to have a time of commissioning and prayer blessing over this team that has been chosen to, to take the search for our next pastor. And so, Jane, I'm going to let you start first. All right. Well, friends, it is my privilege to commission you to the task that you have been appointed to. And so I would just invite you uh, to um, just respond as I... Uh, charge you with um, what is being asked of you in this time. So my brothers and sisters, you have been called by God and entrusted by this congregation with the task of discerning who God is leading to be the next senior pastor of First Baptist Church. Do you promise to undertake this task in humility, praying daily for one another, for our church, and for the person that God is calling? If this is your intent, please respond by saying, we will. We, we will. will. Will you be intentional in your participation in this work, committing your time and attention to the tasks at hand, fully contributing your thoughts and your talents as led by God's spirit? We will. We will. Will. will you listen to one another with grace and respect, open to hearing God's voice in each member of the committee, laying aside personal preferences for the larger good. We will. We will. We will. will you maintain a strict commitment to confidentiality, that there may be a true freedom of expression within your conversations and the utmost of care for the privacy of potential candidates? We will. We will. We will. Will you review all candidates with open minds and hearts, 
treating each one fairly and justly as you seek to discern who is best suited to lead us into the future toward which God calls us in this moment. We, 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 we are grateful for your commitment on our behalf and remind you that you don't undertake this task alone. You'll be guided by the power and the presence of God's Holy Spirit and will be supported in prayer by the members of this church. I invite Jim to offer our prayer of commissioning. Will you bow with me as we pray? Ever loving, ever living, ever present, all wise God, I come before you this evening on behalf of this pastoral search committee, and the entire congregation of your great church that we call First Baptist Church of Wilmington, North Carolina. And I come before you, O oh God, as we commit to fully surrender to seeking your guidance and leading us to the person that you choose to be our next pastor. I pray today and commit to pray every day for Linda Collins and Katie Evans, for Heather Sutton and Jana Lennon and Patrick Griffin and Randy Ivey and Bob Thornton and Tom Alexander and Stephen Jeff Coates. We thank you for each of these people, oh God, for their commitment to becoming and helping others become fully devoted followers of your son, our savior, Jesus Christ. And we thank you that they have accepted this responsibility on behalf of our church to follow your guidance, to lead them to our next pastor. We pray that our congregation, our entire congregation will commit to pray fervently for this committee, for their work and for the person you lead to us when they and their family accept your call to become our next pastor. We pray that this group of people that we believe you have set apart for this task will bond closely and work together as a team with each opinion having equal value, that they will set aside any personal agendas and seek only your agenda and your timing for this process, not being influenced by any pressure, but leaning wholly on you and not their own understanding, but yours. We pray that just as you have gifted this team with the capacity to fulfill this ministry assignment, that you will also extend to them the grace to complete it. Grant them perception, faithfulness, and joy in their deliberations, that they may hear each other with complete openness, but ultimately hear your voice, and then respond decisively with courage as you lead them and us by your grace and in your name. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Thank you, Jim and Jane and Randy for joining us. Y'all, thank you team for, for being here tonight and for your time and for your commitment and for all that uh, you will do in the days ahead. We really do covet to pray for you. Everybody say bye. <laughs> Blessing. Bye-bye. Blessings on all of you all. You're going to do great. Yes. Yeah.